This is a curtain from the 1970s. What? Uh, yeah. Welcome to episode 27 of What Everyone is Wearing in New York. We're in between, right? Cold weather and warm weather flashes as well. So sit back and do relax and enjoy this episode, which really does show a mishmash of those two seasons, like clashing between. Um, I love, as you know, shooting these episodes and getting to understand people's style, how they interpret themselves through what they wear. So um, yeah, let's sit back and watch. This first guy, I loved. Look at this silhouette. This pants, the jacket, a flash of white. That alone draws my attention, and he was so great to talk to. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. Yes, hi. My name is Jedstar. Uh, well, Jedediah, but I go by Jedstar. That's my artist name. I love that name. Thank you. Um, I'm wearing a, what I got on, oak jacket, some Fear of God basic tee. Mm -hmm. um, Rick Owens, Rick Owens. I had a feeling. I could, you can tell Rick. <laughs> yeah, the Rick look is very distinctive. Um, I love the cut of these sleeves. Yeah, it yeah. Kind of, uh, it almost like has a curve to it. Yeah. Which is really cool. So I it's like quite, it. Yeah, it's great. You they say it's a bomber, but... It, it kind of is. Yeah. It's like a wool, wool one. Right. Is it wool? It is. Not bad. I mean, for today. For today. True, true. It's not too <laughs> today. bad today. I can't get away with this all the time, but... I figured why not. Exactly. Where's your necklaces from this? Oh, um, a friend of mine makes these. They're called Merce. Uh, M-E-R-C underscore chapter. Um, his name is Dominic. He's a close friend of mine. He makes those. Oh, fantastic. Hey, can I see the back of that jacket? Yeah, sure. The shape is fantastic. I don't. You don't even realize how you look from the back, but it looks really cool. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Great layering. Do you usually wear black and white, or is it just happens to oh, be Oh, yeah, it just happened to be like this today. I, I like to wear a lot of all black, actually. Oh, okay. So, so that's your look. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was great to run into you. How, co how coincidence? I know. Kind of coincidentally. <laughs> Thank you. I saw this guy standing against this doorway, and look at the mural behind him and how his colorful jacket perfectly complements the background is great and this guy's scarf um, it's a very puffer looking scarf it was because it was a very cold day that day and this um, again you can see this woman in this colorful jacket again look how he's just warming up her arms because it was cold that day speaking of um, colorful jackets I love this woman wait till you hear the story about it it's fantastic I'm Kelsey Payton Crane and I'm wearing my own KPC. <laughs> this is so great and you were saying it's a blanket? Is it's a blanket right? from the 1930s and um, this is a curtain from the 1970s. What? Uh, yeah. That's a... <laughs> yeah. So the, you found a way to use crappy curtains, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone hates frilly curtains. Yes, exactly. So you found a way found to make, a way them, to make cool. them cool. Yeah. That's great! That's such a, you could do that with any pattern, any anything, any color, anything. Where are your glasses from? Because I'm uh, really... Poppy Lissaman. Where are they from? Poppy Lissaman. I've not heard of them, but they're so... They're great. She's they great. Are. Yes. They're so cool. Um, okay, so and you're wearing a bag? No bag today. No bag. I never carry a bag in New York. Oh, you don't. No. You could just use your pockets, I suppose. <laughs> I do. Yeah. That's why they're so big. Well, bags are getting smaller and smaller, so yeah. you don't even need one at this point. Exactly. Um, at underscore KPC period, and then like four underscores after, maybe five. Okay. Um, it usually comes up like the first or second one. Right. Is any, your, any of your designs available to buy or not? Yes. Oh, they are? Yeah, sometimes. So I do like a release every month or so. Okay. My website is KPC, KPC, KPC.com. All right, I'm going to put that on the screen as well so people can have a look. Can I see the back? Because it's so nice. It's great. It's a shacket. It's like a just perfect for it this is. weather. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for stopping. You. I've always thought that colours are such a great indicator of just what your personal style is. Take this purple from this mural. It reminds me of this woman's dress and such a great striking colour on her. Um, I'm Emily. I'm wearing this wrap dress from Nasty Girl. The colour <laughs> is everything. Thank you. Is that what drew you to it? Yeah, definitely the fuchsia. I wanted to bring more colour in because I feel like I'm always wearing neutrals. Oh really? Is that what you normally dress 
in neutrals. Yeah, and a lot of loungewear. So I'm trying to get into more like actual clothes. <laughs> Real right. Yeah. I think we all are. I like how you paired it with almost like a jill tone, like the scarf as well. Mm -hmm. It really works. Thank you. Um, a scarf is from Madewell. These sneakers are Adidas, just from Nordstrom. And then this purse is just from Target. Fantastic. Can I see the back of the dress? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's Thank just you. nasty girl. Yeah. Recent. Mm-hmm. On their 60% off sale. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. The, the way it moves in the window. <laughs> That's every, how are you staying warm? Because it's cold today. I have all my layers underneath the dress. So I'm wearing like a cardigan and a turtleneck all underneath. <laughs> I see. This is just for show yeah. on top. Perfect. I love the way you're thinking. Thank it looks you. great. Yellow is one of the colors that to me really represents this current season of spring um, and I loved seeing this mural of it and it's almost identical to the classic colors of the New York taxi cabs even look at the yellow traffic light above that color is iconic to me to the city and always has been I love this guy in his outfit as he was walking um, past or in front of me I thought he looked great the outerwear speaking of the way this guy layered his was genius I love what you've done. My name is Khalid and I'm wearing... Khalid. Khalid? Khalid? Yes. How do you spell it? K-H-A-L-I-D. Well, this hat I got from uh, Amazon. I and love the way you're wearing it. I never see it done so slanted. Yes. yes. And then I also got these glasses from Amazon. As well, this blazer is actually from some thrift store in New York, as well as this jacket. Look and the, the pants are Adidas. I mean, they're Reebok pants. And then these are from... Not Zara, but I think I got them from a place in Spain. Oh, great. I love that. And where do you say the pants are from again? Reebok. Reebok. They're Reebok joggers. That's cool. I would never have thought to go there. Yeah. So don't sleep on the sports store. No, you got to mix and match it. Yeah. That's, how, that's what I love. And I like that you wore this open, the style idea of showing like, it's something so simple. Like I'm wearing my trench done up, oh, yeah. but you just open it so you can see the blazer and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Are you a stylist? I, I would say creative. <laughs> and I just like to style it up how I, how I feel. Okay. My personal touch on it. This is great. And look at you, you're actually carrying three bags today. Yes. <laughs> I came from Palm Springs Four. like this. Yes. <laughs> Four with this one. Yes. You just came from Palm Springs, you yes. said? Yes. Okay. So this is your luggage with you? Yes. Oh, carrying my well, luggage with me. Great. I love the way you put your things together. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Are you very much into vintage thrifty type of things? Yes, or? very much so. I think that's like the best way to go when it comes to buying fashion. Yeah. If you can't afford it, then thrift it. Right. And even if you can afford it, why not throw in thrift? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> well, this looks fantastic. You look... gets that random day when it just suddenly snows out of nowhere and this caught everyone by surprise one day and I happened to be out and so I was able to capture it. Um, I find this happens every year uh, without fail. Um, comment below if that ever happens to you wherever you live, you just get out of season snow. Um, but this woman's uh, crochet hat I thought was adorable, right? And just how she styled it, it was such a pop of colour. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, this is just a handmade hat that I got from an Instagram account. Let's see the side. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Does it come in different colors? It does. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It comes in a lot of different colors. Um, and this, this is a coat. I forgot the brand, but it's from my mom. Oh, it's your mom. It. Yeah. You stole it from your mom. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And I think these are like Balenciaga pants. Oh, look at the, oh, I love the, um, yeah. the cargo pants, yeah. the pocket. They're very smart. Did you get it from Balenciaga or? Yeah, I did. You did, okay, great. Uh, and New Balance shoes. New Balance, comfortable. I love the socks. Thank you. These are also my mom's. Oh. <laughs> Mom has cool style. Yeah. And inside I'm wearing, I'm wearing a sweater, but it's actually like children's clothes. Oh, I love that. But it's like a size 14 or something, it so I'm still you. wearing it. Yeah. yeah. 
and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a good tip to shop in the kids section. It is. If you're small, Sometimes. you can, you can yeah. wear it. Exactly. And the bag is the, the Dior, Dior, the yeah. Dior saddle. Well, this hat, that's what drew me to you. It just looks <laughs> so good. I'm sure you're getting a lot of people compliments. Yeah, I do. I need to see this again. Sit there. Just to... Wow, this is epic. <laughs> love it love it thank you so much these two guys i was literally just running past them and i turned and they were standing right there and i just thought these look so striking together don't they um so i was just talking to them very very briefly about their outfits and the shoes and everything i thought it was great um the cherry blossoms are out now in new york when it's not raining <laughs> you really notice them just an incredible explosion of color and it's just fantastic to see speaking of color look at the yellow of his t-shirt at the back and then the hydrant and the black of his clothes i mean he literally is mimicking what he's standing next to and just to observe little things like that you know on my episodes i, I just love just to, to catch little things Now for the next person, speaking of colors again, I thought it was fantastic the way he put it together. It's such a great combination, so inspiring to me. Oh, cool, cool. So my name is Jonathan, uh, last name Goodley. Put up JW for my initials. Um, first and foremost, I got on my own jewelry. I make it by hand, be the jewelry. Bracelets, necklaces, that's the business. Um, this jacket, I believe, is from either Gap or Old Navy. This is a throwback from H&M, maybe about five years ago. Uh, these jeans are true religion. These sneakers, you're probably not going to see them nowhere else right now. I love right these. Now. These are called hobbies. These are cool. Yes. Did you customize them or something? No, no, they come just like this. So as you can see, I love colors. You I know, love... I got to get my pop of everything. Yeah, you work working all really okay. well together with thank the you, like, thank neutrals you. to it. break it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the jewelry, you made these. Yeah, yeah, I have my own business. Absolutely. I'm going to definitely put it on the screen. Oh, all right, cool, cool. I'm going to give you one anyway. Okay, yes, perfect. There you go. Oh, lovely. Absolutely. Wow. Lovely. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And the glasses, you were saying? Oh, yeah, the glasses. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. That's why you stopped me. Right. These are from Aldo. Turn, let me see the sides. Yeah. I can't believe it. They're and stepping they, their game up for real. They are, and they feel expensive. Yes, they do. Because you let me hold them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, okay. You're probably going to sell these out now. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to meet Cut you. Cut me a check out though. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Absolutely. Can I get your Instagram? Again, about the yellows. Um, they're everywhere in New York, year round. But I am particularly drawn to them when it's spring. Um, the next person, uh, some of you who are subscribed to my channel, you know who this person is. And we randomly, honestly, ran into each other. So I'm including her in this episode. <laughs> it's time! It's time! <laughs> okay, so I ran into an old friend of mine, Rihanna. Some of you who follow my YouTube, you already know who this is. But for the purposes of those who do not, tell everyone your name and tell us what are you wearing today. My name is Rihanna Jones. I am wearing head to toe, fro to toe, second hand. We're gonna put this here, even my bike is second hand. She is wearing a Nike with a rhinestone buckle. She's got a Reformation Look at leopard haunt with a, a little Reformation sunshine top. And then I just got fresh from Beacons. It's a vintage Gamma Kong, who's this amazing New York designer from the 90s. Beautiful. These little pins, because she's a hunch, she's foxy and finery. And a little vintage. Chanelia. Just a little momentito. I love this. I love how the bag goes with your hair perfectly. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get all the blonde melanin just shower on me. It's showered. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving like. Is it she's like 70s Afro disco queen, but she's also on the bike because it's almost Earth Day. So we're just really brand ambassadoring for sustainability today. And uh, right down to the pink bike. Right down to the pink bike. Did you pink? Did you? Did you pink? I did. did, I, you, spray, did you, I did pink this bike all on my bike. own. I pink the bike with spray paint. I added these are dollar store flowers that have clearly seen a lot of sun. That is genuine sun damage right there. These are also all vintage. That's my dad actually, which is very oh, exciting. Very special. Anyone who yeah. wants to do that, it's a beautiful way to commemorate a loved one. And yeah, this is my fashion mobile. This is your mode of transport, <laughs> which I love. 
great. Well, it's so good to see you. So good to see you too. <laughs> I love our little New York moment. If you notice the uh, light blues and this graffiti and in the distance there in the background um, it's going to be reflected in this person's glasses you're going to see next but um, the cherry blossoms I cannot help but notice them aren't they stunning anyway this person um, like I was saying the light blue the way he used it I thought was was great Hi, uh, my name is Bob and <laughs> I'm a horse you are horse. I am you horse okay? uh, yeah I've been talking too much. Anyway, um, okay. I am wearing um, Paul Harndon. Uh, that's my, uh, that's what I'm mostly wearing, except for my shoes. My shoes are Margiela. Fantastic. I love how they look almost like childlike. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're kind of cool, right? I've, and they look unisex. I mean, I would wear them. Totally. You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the yeah. glasses. These are the really glasses cool. are um, JMM, Jacques Mirage. Are they tinted? They yeah, tinted. I keep a little tint in my glasses. Slightly. Slight blue tint on these glasses. That's it. That's, That's right. a really good idea. Why yeah. do you do that? Um, I don't know. I just feel like I like to have a little bit of, um, I don't know, a bit of a shield. You know, it's like... And it's, it's so slight. Uh, yeah, it's slight. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. So I, I do it to all my glasses. That's a very good tip. I yeah. like that. A lot of Look tattoos. Yeah. This is great. I have a lot of tattoos. Do they hurt? Oh my god, so much. Oh god. The worst. Oh no. The more you get, the the more tattoos you get, the more it hurts. The more? I thought it'd be the other way around. No. You get used to it. You no. probably like, you tolerate it. Yeah, no, you know what you're in store for. Oh god, you're brave. Yeah. Well, the fact <laughs> you keep going. Yeah. Um, and your dogs, they're gorgeous. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, his name is Carl Lagerfeld, and that's Vivian Westwood. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? They're good little dogs. Aren't they gorgeous? Are they um, related uh, or not? No. Oh, they look it. Yeah. <laughs> well, great names. This is a great tip, the glasses. Yeah. All right. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you. Speaking of blue, wasn't that guy's glasses great? The way he just tinted them lightly. I thought that was genius. Um, now, this door, uh, it reminds me perfectly of this next woman and her denim trench coat, which was it's absolutely stunning. We spoke for literally five minutes before I hit record. But anyway, tell me what you think. Charlotte, I'm wearing a vintage 80s Liz Claiborne trench. Liz Claiborne, you said. Yes, which is wild. This is, I can't believe it. Right? Big pockets. I can't even find the things in my pockets. And let me see the back, because the back, I oh, saw yes. the, the, the back. The, the Balenciaga back. And the back of the, the trench. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The weight goes at a point. It's a point. <gasps> and yeah. the belt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Some Manolo boots that I found. Where did you get these? Fun, real, real, but they're Manolos. Fantastic. But I liked the kind of Western detail. The, yeah, I was gonna say. It's fun. They have a Chimmy Chew vibe. Exactly. Too. But yeah, just a little. I don't know. It looks kind of channeling Balenciaga. You are. Oh, it little is. Julia Fox moment. It's kind of what I was thinking when I did this. You're to be honest with Julia you, which is funny. Because I'm not really that into her. But, but that is a find of the, I don't know what, the you. year, this yep. trench coat. I know. The proportions are insane. And you said it had shoulder pads. It has shoulder pads. They Velcro into it. So I have them. I just like, it, it almost doesn't need it because there's so much. They, I'm, a, I'm little for yeah. the amount of shoulder. But that's the vibe, you know. Exactly. It's I know. But yeah. Incredible. Very exciting. This yeah. is great. Well done. Thank you. Bravo. Oh my God, you're so sweet. <laughs> I'm like, I I don't think an episode would ever be um, complete without showing the celebration of black <laughs> in spring and in summer, actually. Um, I like the combinations of orange and green, which is why I showed this moment here. But the two guys you're going to see next are the definition of New York uniform of wearing black and how they interpreted it. Do you mind the joint being in it or should I put it away? Oh, okay. I'll go first. Oh, I'm, Brandon. Shoes. Shoes. I'm Brandon. Today I'm wearing Paul Herndon Shoemakers. Um, it's pretty much a daily for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a disease with no cure. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, the only, well, explain. The only treatment is to buy more. It's to buy more? The only treatment. <laughs> um, essentials. I got the suspender trousers and the oh, blazer. So I like the suspenders. Yeah. It's a nice touch. The hat, the pork pie. Right. I love everything. 
Everything You're hungry. Yes. <laughs> exactly. exactly. The suspenders, are those vintage? Did you find those from the... No, they come with the trousers. Oh, did they? Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. Do you usually wear all black? Is that your no. thing or not really? You just did it today? I used to, but not just today. Just today, okay. And the shoes as well? The shoes are uh, from Japan. It's a small label called Shoe and Sewn. They're great. When I got them, it took six months. Now they have a year and a half wait list. What? Yeah. A year and a half? A year and a half. For these shoes? For these shoes. What's these that? small artisanal labels, they... It's all handmade. It's great. It's craft. Thank you. Brilliant. Give me a follow. Definitely. Next. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing well. Uh, my name is Menelik but I go by Ben Slacken on Instagram. Uh, like Ben Slacken, like I've been slacking. Um, uh, I'm wearing Sakai. This is so Woman Sakai. Uh, this is Yoji Yamamoto Wise Pink. This is Louis Vuitton. Um, when did these come out? These are runway Louis Vuitton from fall, or no, actually spring, summer 21, but then they re-put them on the most recent collection in the um, spring, summer 22, so, so but they still haven't been released. They, oh, they still haven't yeah, been released? Yeah, they're straight off the runway. Like, I don't know anyone see. else who's got them in this condition, especially beat and worn, you know what I mean? Like, Let me see the sides. I have not seen, and these are Louis this Vuitton? Is, this is Virgil Abloh's, um, Oh, that's creation. why. Yeah. That's why they're so cool. Yeah, they're um. That's so this why. is like the cowboy boot version of the trainer. Of a sneaker, it's a both. Yeah. It's a cut. It's a hybrid. It's like a hybrid, exactly. And then I have a little so MM6 uh, accessory. Yeah. Uh, Margella uh, mm -hmm. phone holder. Cool. Little uh, Rick Owens thermal. I have like a MM6. Sure, so do you like to wear black a lot? Is no, this is also just a random day. For me. Oh, so just random that you both have. I mean to I be I, I have a lot of black. Black is like my safety, like when I'm not trying to do too much. Yeah. Like it's easy to put together it black is. with white monochrome. Monochrome is just like you can always look good in monochrome, I think. Correct. Like so I usually am very eccentric and I try to play with colours, but Today I'm doing this, and I think it looks good. I think so too. These, this, uh, this is great. I wonder if they, I can imagine them in different colors. They have them I in different imagine. fabrications and colors. Yeah, they, it, it, there's like a suede version. There's um, a leather version in like Jamaican colors, black and um, yellow and red. Oh God, I wonder if I can find them. They're like, yeah, so like, they, it was like ridiculous for me to get them in general. I yeah. had to like order them um, straight off the runway and then I didn't even end up getting them because Jay Balvin just like grabbed the pair that was supposed to be for me apparently. And then um, I had to like complain and like put my Karen card on and like they somehow just for my birthday called me into the store and told me to like put the yeah. money down for them. Yeah. And yeah, so. Perfect. I love the tattoo on your finger. This is my mother's name in Amharic. Oh. Uh, that's where I'm from, but it's really bad and old. Did that hurt? Nah, not really. Not really. No, it didn't hurt no. on your finger? No. Okay, that's good. You guys look, look at this. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I got so lucky. The camera. an ASOS raincoat. ASOS, however you want to say it. I can't remember what I like the print from. of that dress. It's a yeah. dress, right? Yeah, it's a dress. It's, it's Trina yeah. or Trina somebody. Okay. And some vintage cowboy boots. <laughs> on my tell far bag. Don't you know? tell far. <laughs> of course. And you, your hair. Yeah. You said you did the, you did this yourself. Yeah, I shaved my hair about two years ago and now yeah. I've been bleaching it myself for like a uh, like past year. But yeah, um, doing it myself for like a couple weeks. How long was your hair before you cut it? Uh, here? So you went from that to that? Yeah. Shorter oh. than this, actually. Yeah. So what made you, um, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, just didn't want to mess with my hair anymore. And I like the look. I like the androgynous look a little bit. What so. color is your hair normally? Uh, like, not quite black, dark brown. So yeah. Did you bleach it too? You dyed yeah, it? Yeah, I'm bleaching myself, yeah. God, you're so pretty. Are you a hairdresser? No, I'm an interior designer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're so brave. Oh, it's, it's just hair, it grows back, that's what I say. Very true. For most people. <laughs> true. Have you done that before? This, Color, like, uh, cut it like so no, short? just like, like two years ago is the first time I ever cut it this short. I've had like pixie cuts and like, and the such, but like just a plano shave like about two years ago. Do you prefer it or you don't really care? It doesn't really bother the same as long I prefer hair. how much time it saves me. Like you get up in the morning and right. your hair always looks done. <laughs> That's true. And your earrings show. Yeah. Like, your I earrings. mean, because you've got yeah. like, short and everything. hair. I mean, but like if you have a day where your skin is acting up, it's not. Yeah, you great. can't hide you can't, you put you a mask can't on. Hide it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for masks, right? Right. I find New York graffiti is so iconic in a way that you're seeing stores themselves take on their own interpretation of it, right? You see the contrast of the retail with an actual graffiti of the New York streets. Notice this woman, her contrasting like patterns and clashing. It reminds you of the graffiti. Not this guy's take on black and white. My name is Maurice. And um, right now when I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Mason Margiela overcoat jacket. This is an amazing jacket right it's here. It's great. I love it it's, because it's a shirt. It looks like a shirt, a yeah, button down shirt. shirt. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Um, I love it. Amazing. It, see the Prada bucket hat? Yes. <laughs> you see the Prada? I love uh, that. Got the Prada shades as well. <laughs> yeah, I, they, I love them. I love them. I love them. <laughs> and these pants um, was given to me by a friend from Dallas. Um, oh, great. Yes, I love them. Um, I saw it on him. He's actually walking out here in Soho. I saw it. I said, I need them. Look at he the gave it to I me. love the, the stitching on it. That's yeah, yeah. We got a... Uh, Yes, it's amazing. And you see the Levon kicks on the feet. Well, those Loved are great. Them. Very cozy, very comfortable. Do they come with those laces or you customize Yeah, they come with these it? laces. They got different colors. Okay. But it's, it's very comfortable. I like them. They're oversized. They're really good. They're really good. And the Margiela jacket, is it recent or? Yes, yes, it's recent. It's recent. Okay. It's the collection. Well, it looks it's fantastic. For winter. Brilliant. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. This was shot when it was, uh, the sun was sort of starting to set a little bit and there was such a beautiful glow. The way it just bathed across buildings and lights, just like here, I loved it. Anyway, this um, next woman, I just loved how unusual it is to see camo done in a puffer coat. My name's Megan and I'm wearing Norma Kamali's sleeping bag coat in camo. And you said this comes out every year, every yes. season? Yes, and all different styles and colors and oh, like really? lengths. Yeah. So different patterns? Yep. Ammo, um, black. There's a vintage quilt color. So it's like all different um, like a pattern, like a, all different oh. quilt styled yes. together. Yes, in a puffer. Yeah. And That's nylon. Unusual. And then, um, yeah. And this is, I think this is nylon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it's great. And what's yeah. the rest of the outfit? I'm wearing YSL bag, crossover bag, um, Amazon glasses, Amazon hat and Uggs and a very workout outfit. I just got out of Pilates, so. Well, you look chic for it. Thank you. Perfect. Well, this is the mech. Can I see the back? Love it. It's so different. You don't expect to see a puffer in, in camera. This is like the style capital. Is it another episode down for the record books <laughs> um episode 27 as always these episodes are a documenting of personal style with an emphasis on personal they are a reflection of us because style should be just that if you continue to be inspired do give this video a thumbs up. It's the fastest way for me to make sure that you are and you're still enjoying them after what, two to three years later. Um, if you want to see my own style, my Instagram is Karen Britchick and subscribe to this channel so you can catch more episodes. And as always, take care my loves and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.